Hi everyone. Uh, today I am going to show you how to <coughs> extract the faces and save them as a JPG from a lot of uh, faces. Like if you have uh, one image, this image contains a lot of faces, and you want to save every face to uh, one folder instead of using. Uh, uh, Photoshop or any image uh, editor okay, because that will take a lot of time but uh, you can do that with uh, OpenCV and Dlib and it's a uh, very easy uh, this way it's very easy to to extract the faces from any image or from uh, video stream So first, uh, I will show you how. Uh, we need to import uh, CV2 and we need to import Dlib. Of course, you need to download them. Uh, okay, then we need to make a detector to detect the faces. And we need a new path. This path is uh, where, where we will store the image the image of the faces okay in my case it's in this bath in this uh, folder a noun uh, this function is to draw a stylish rig I will show you this uh, rectangle then we need the function to save the image uh, if you notice here we <coughs> I have a uh, but and width and height to reshape the image okay because uh, in some cases the image that we extract from the big image like the face that we extract is very small so we need to make it bigger or if it's very big we need to make it smaller so that's it. Uh, after cropping the image, or after the, taking the face coordinates, the face position, we need to save the image. And this function, I called it faces. We read the frame, we read the image, then we convert it to grayscale. Then we put it in the face, in the detector, okay? In this detector okay then we need to loop, loop inside the faces <laughs> we extract the coordinates of the face or the faces and we bought rectangle and we bought my rectangle then we save the image okay uh, first I will show you the rectangle So this is the rectangle I have talked about, that I have talked about, this is it. It's a beautiful shape to add to your uh, image processing. So yeah, if you notice here, we have a lot of uh, faces in this image. Now we will extract every face and save it to the folder. Okay, first I will save it with the uh, frame, with the original color. If you see this folder is empty now. You see the counter is counting the image. Now when I close this, when I close the program, it will save the, the image the faces you see here but if you notice here we have the, this rect rectangle even in the image that we saved if we don't need this rectangle 
we can just simply uncomment these two lines like the rectangles lines uh, another thing is uh, like if you, you have this image in this folder okay if I run the program again it will delete the previous uh, image and put the new image instead yeah you see here there is no rectangle you see the previous image has been replaced with the new image so that's it and uh, if you want to save gray image gray this gray because we convert the frame from uh, BGR to gray so we have 24 phase and yeah it's a great image now and we have another thing like if you noticed here we the, the image that we saved the image of the face that we saved is bigger than the rectangle okay uh, because when we like when we use the face recognition library we need a big image of the face like the face and some area around the face not just the face okay because uh, sometimes like you will uh, face an error so yeah we need like if you see here like there is some space around the face and some space around the face but if we just take the face inside the rectangle like it will be like very big and sometimes the computer will not recognize it so yeah we see here uh, so I, I have made this uh, fit and equals to 20 and I put here is x minus fit so if you see here like from x coordinate this uh, from here the rectangle it's minus 20 so we need some space here and uh, from y we need some space also so it's 20 okay and the width and the height from the width is width uh, is uh, uh, plus 20 and the height is plus 20 as well so yeah that's it so now we have uh, like a clear image of the face not only the face okay not only the face inside the rectangle because I will show you without this uh, minus without this uh, fit it will work okay but I uh, will see how okay I'll close it you see the image it's only the face okay like the face that, that was inside the rectangle so in this case the face recognition module like sometimes uh, could not detect the, or re recognize the face so that's why we need some some area around the face so yeah that's it 
Uh, another thing is uh, this frame. If you notice, I resize the the frame, but I put the resizing at last. What if I put this uh, the resize above? Okay. Let's see. And I will not save now. Uh, if I bought it like very small, like 500 by 500, mm -hmm. you see, it uh, detected one face, only one face, because the image is very small. So we need to put the resize at last. okay you see the D library has been detected all the faces so yeah that's it in fact you need this uh, this uh, program if you are working with the face detection and uh, you want like if you have made a robot and you want this robot to take the faces from a video stream and save this these faces you can use this card it's a very simple it's not that complicated so yeah that's it and uh, if you have any question you can put it on the comments and uh, see you next time